Good day, YouTube. Today I'm going to do just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Fedora 36 on the left hand side versus OpenSUSE version 2022. So this is also known as the Tumbleweed or Rolling Release Edition on the right hand side here. So both the latest releases here, so we'll take a bit of a quick dive. Now as we can see they are actually both running on their default desktop environments, that is the GNOME desktop environment, so virtually the same here. I mean uh, slightly different icon sets or, or choices for the icons in the, uh, the taskbar menu there, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. We've got the workspace options and things there as well, but uh, much of a muchness. If we were to maybe have a look at the context menu on the main page there as well, the main desktop area, we will see that uh, it is pretty much the same there as well. A little bit uh, lacking in my opinion, just a few options unfortunately. Uh, moving across, let's have a look at the, the file manager just for a quick laugh now. This is also running on the GNOME files or GNOME files file manager there as well. So nothing to really write home about. Pretty much exactly the same except for the fact that uh, we've got the blue iconography there just as a little bit different to, to match the uh, the theme of the Fedora operating system there. Uh, next up, we'll have a look at the, uh, the, uh, the oh, well, actually the, the kernel. So the Fedora 36 is running the 5.17 kernel, which is nice to see. Pretty much latest and greatest, whereas OpenSUSE, the rolling release, nearly there 5.16 so usually you want to take this into account if you've got later and greater hardware but they are pretty close to each other I would say uh, the GNOME variant so I've actually got GNOME 42 for Fedora so a little bit new a few extra little bells and whistles nothing to really write home about there as well but it is what it is and uh, the uh, OpenSUSE has a, one, a 41 GNOME 41 uh, variety there for the desktop Last but not least, let's take a little bit of a, a look at the CPU and RAM usage. So both idling out there quite nicely. When it comes to RAM usage, we are almost exactly a gigabyte of RAM on boot up for Fedora 36, not quite, but almost there. And for uh, OpenSUSE, we are running at 630, uh, 83 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So we are looking at about 300 megabytes less of RAM on boot up, which is pretty good all things considered. Uh, it does appear that uh, in a way OpenSUSE is a little bit more optimized, you could say. Maybe, maybe not, but uh, Fedora is always known to be a little bit more heavy on the RAM usage. So always take this into account when you're thinking of a netbook, notebook, laptop, whatever the book may be, something older or lighter weight there. So thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.